dear students i am navin kumar b thodmani i am teaching english language in moraji desai residential school ganjigatti taluk kalgatki district dharwad today i am here with you to share some information regarding one of the important questions which comes in the examination the question is using the given word as a noun or verb in a sentence of your own in the examination students are provided one word and are asked to frame a sentence using that word as a noun or verb students should read this question very carefully before answering it this question is basically a vocabulary based question this is asked for one marks before starting to solve this question it is our necessary to, to duty to revise our knowledge related to noun and verbs as you know noun is a naming word noun is a name of a person place thing material bird animal so on so forth so let us have some of the examples for nouns noun can be name of a person ramu lalita john vrita etc place name of a place can be a noun bengaluru dharwad bellary etc name of a thing box table cot pencil computer etc noun can be name of quality truth honesty beauty bravery etc so name of the state is also coming under the category of noun only childhood boyhood youth slavery etc name of material is also considered as noun gold wood copper silver etc are the examples for this now let us move forward it is very necessary for us to know the meaning and examples for the verbs verb is an action word a word which speaks about the action of a subject in a sentence is called a verb examples for the verbs are run clean dance walk cry listen think let's have some more examples crawl fight laugh ride read write drink so in english some words are used as a noun and a verb in the same form students have to remember one fact here that so in english same word is used as a noun as well as a verb in different sentences our question is targeting this point only so before answering the questions uh, this variety of questions students have to remember certain points in their minds before making sentences let's have point number 1 we should have the knowledge of both noun meaning and verb meaning of the given word students must know what exactly the noun meaning and verb meaning of the word is which is given in the examination point number 2 students must read the question carefully and start using the word in their own sentence as a verb or noun according to the need of the question here most of the students make mistake and lose their one of the important marks very easily students don't read the question carefully instead of making sentence using the given word as a noun they make a sentence using the word as a verb when the question is asking you to frame a sentence using the given word as a noun students frame a question using the given word as a verb so there there is every chance of losing the marks the format of the question is use the following word in your own sentence as a verb or use the following word in your own sentence as a noun 
examples first example is so i have taken the word conduct if you get a question in the examination which tells you to frame a sentence using the word conduct as a noun first you should have the noun meaning of the word conduct noun meaning of the word conduct is behavior so i have given six examples to you which clearly state that how we can use the word conduct in its noun form a boy got punishment for his bad conduct here conduct is used as noun we should have good conduct good conduct is a key for our success good conduct helps us to defeat our problems good conduct is the symbol of our personality conduct of a boy surprise me when you see all these sentences you can come across one fact that the word conduct is used in the form of a noun not in the form of a verb if the same word is supplied to you in the examination and if the question asks you to use the word as a verb then you should have the noun meaning of the word sorry the verb meaning of the word conduct that is to organize and perform a particular activity see all these examples teachers conduct the examination strictly we conducted a party today in our house teachers conduct a quiz competition for students journalists have conducted a sports tournament parents conducted the wedding of their daughter very well when you see all these sentences you can easily identify that the word conduct is used in the form of a verb not in the form of a noun so in this way the students can easily make sentences and score one mark very easily without any difficulty next example is insult if the question comes in the examination with the word insult and asks you to frame a question frame a sentence using the word insult so students must know the meaning of the word insult as a noun noun meaning of the word insult is an offensive remark or action see these examples she made several insults about my appearance in this sentence insult is used as a noun i don't tolerate my insults so insult word is a noun in this sentence do don anselmo didn't his insults again insult is used as a noun in this sentence his insult made him work hard insult can have positive or negative impacts so in all these sentences i have used the word insult as a noun let us have the verb meaning of the word insults verb meaning is to say or do something to someone that is rude or offensive examples are we should not insult others so in this sentence insult is a verb not a noun father insult the son in front of his classmates so here the word insult is used in sentence as a verb teacher insulted some students so here word insult is is a verb i have insulted myself my friends will insult me if i fail in the examination so in all these sentences insult is used in its verb form not in noun form let us move forward so use the word present in your own sentence as a noun you will get question in this form only so you have to use the word present in your own sentence as a noun for doing that you should have noun meaning in your memory noun meaning of the word present is something which you are given without asking for it on a special occasion especially to show friendship or to say thank you it means giving something to others that is verb meaning that is generally known to everybody but here question is not that the present 
use the word present in your own sentence as a noun it can be a question in the examination so here students have to use the word present in its noun form not in its verb form noun meaning of the word present is something which you are given without asking for it on a special occasion especially to show friendship or to say thank you examples are dad gave me a bicycle as a present in this sentence i have used present as a noun not as a verb i got a nice present today so in this sentence again present is used as noun not as a verb i expected a wonderful present from my friends the usage of the word present is again done as a noun i lost my present in the bus today again the word present is used as a noun he loves to uh, give presents to others so these all sentences clearly state us how we can make sentences using the word present as a noun if the same question is given to you with little correction in the examination how are you going to write the answer for this question so use the word present in your own sentence as a verb so here question is asking you to frame a sentence using the word present as a verb then you should have the noun meaning of the word present noun verb meaning of the word present that is to give or provide or make noun examples are prime minister presented medals to the winners i present a car to my mom today he presented the report to his colleagues at the meeting i presented the speech in my school students present gifts to their teachers on teachers day when we look at all these sentences we can easily understand that the word present is used as the verb not as a noun if students know the verb meaning of a word present then they can easily frame questions next word which i have taken for an example is look question will be like this use the word look in your own sentence as a noun noun meaning of the word look is appearance example is his look is very strange so in this example i have used the word look as a noun not as a verb next example is i tried to change my look my sister gave me a questioning look next one is she has a very ugly look sometimes our looks decide our luck so last example is father commanded son to change his look so all these examples clearly tell us that how we can frame questions using the word look as a noun if same word is applied to you in the examination and if the question is asking you to frame a sentence using the same word as a verb then you should know the verb meaning of the word look verb meaning of the word look is to see or to search or to see examples are they looked at the picture and laughed we should look at our mistakes satish looks at the bird curiously i am looking for my keys i looked down the list but couldn't see my friend's name my sister looks well the roads look very easy that dress looks nice on you so in this way we can use the word look in its verb meaning very easily if we know the verb meaning of the word look next word that i have taken for the discussion is request use the word request in your own sentence as a noun that is the question that comes in the examination so for answering this question you should have the noun meaning of the word request that is polite ask of polite act of asking something examples are 
Swami made a request to his father. God didn't listen to the request of sailors. Teacher rejected the request of a student. His request made me sympathetic. We should make request in a right manner. Officers received hundreds of requests for more information. So all these sentences clearly tell us that we can easily use the word request in your own sentence if we know the noun meaning of the words requests. If same word is given to you in the examination for framing a sentence as a verb then you should have the verb meaning of the word request that is to ask for something politely or officially. Examples are Baleshwar requests some motorists to help him. I requested my friend to help me. A passenger requests the driver to stop bus. A student requested a teacher to teach him grammar. Woodcutter requested God to bring his eggs. Wang Xia requests the monsters not to trouble him. So in all these sentences, I have used the word request as the verb, not as a noun. So generally, this type of question is asked in the examination. Question paper setters give the word request to the students not to use it as a verb, but to use it as a noun. Most of the students make mistake while attempting this variety of question. Students should be very careful while answering this question. Next word that I have taken for an example is use the word address in your own sentence as a noun. So you should have the noun meaning of the words that is the number of the house, a name of the road, town where the person lives or resides or works and where letters can be sent. Easily we can understand the noun meaning of the word address as house details or home details that everybody knows. Examples are I forgot the address of my friend. I failed to give my address to my colleague. I mailed my address to the headmaster. In all these three sentences, I used the word address as the noun, not as a verb. Difficulty comes here. Generally, we use the address as a noun a lot. Most of the students may not be knowing the uh, on the verb meaning of the word address because it is generally not used in a uh, large amount. So students, if the students get the word address in their examination to frame sentence as a verb, then they should have the noun meaning of a verb meaning of the word address. That is to speak or write to someone. Examples are, he addressed a few introductory remarks to the audience. Principal addressed the students on Independence Day. The president has been asked to address the assembly. Address me in English only. So here, the word address is, is used as the verb, not as a noun. Students should be very careful if the word address is given to you for making sentence as a verb. So you should use it in the form of the verb only while making sentences. Lastly, I am taking you to some of the words which can be used as well as uh, as well uh, noun as well as verbs. So I, I am just give list, giving the list of the words which can be used as uh, in your own sentences as noun as well as verbs. Words are aim, answer, blast, bend, beer, back, bank, balloon, battle. Some other words are block, change, cycle, brush, challenge, cheer, curl, clear, cook, crack, joke, 
some other words can also be used as noun as well as verbs those are joke hammer dance garden guess pick dust finish guard hand design fish hug echo doubts fool so i have given the list of all these words for your practice in your houses to be very perfect and attempt the question on this area very successfully and effectively and score out of out marks in this area now i am go going to give you a certain kind of assignment so use the following words in your own sentence as a verb words are picture state mentor question water color phone nurse book use the following words in your own sentence as a noun words are fight attempt walk jump play call mail offer peel so you should use all these words in your own sentences not as verbs but as nouns thanks for watching this video very patiently and cooperating with me very effectively so thanks you all